All right, here's another video from WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Cutting with a TIG torch. Can you cut with a TIG torch? Well, you can, but it doesn't do a great job. It's good for in a pinch. If you're going to do it, here's some tips. All right, use a big electrode and recess it back below flush. And um, I'm using in this uh, particular demonstration a 1 8 2% thoriated electrode with a small number 20 style TIG torch sharpened to a kind of a blunt tip and uh, recessed back below flush, maybe uh, not quite an eighth of an inch. Now, the reason I do that is I want to be able to drag this along, uh, just like a drag tip on a plasma cutter. I'm going to use a straight edge or something to prop on and just drag it and cut. All right, here's the, here's the basic settings. I'm using a Miller uh, Synchrowave 351, set it to TIG weld. Uh, the panel set to remote because, I mean, I'm sorry, to panel, not remote, because uh, I want all the amps at once when I hit that foot pedal. I'm just using the foot pedal for a switch. And the output contactor I want on remote because I don't want live current until I press the pedal. High frequency start. Now, I'm starting out here really, really high. You can do some pretty decent TIG cutting and a lot less amps than what I'm using here, but I'm going to jack this all the way up to 250 amps. Uh, because first I'm going to try cutting some uh, 11 gauge aluminum and uh, and then I'll go down thinner from there. Uh, you can cut maybe 100 or so really really thin metal you don't need 250 amps but uh, I'm swinging the pendulum way far today. DCEN electrode negative and then I, I, I turn the flow meter wide open because I want a lot of pressure uh, for blowing that dross out the other side. Again we set the TIG torch up so we drag it flat and then it creates some pressure and uh, with all that argon going out of there and it just blows the uh, blows all the slag and dross out pretty good. Now one thing it does work really well for is just popping holes in uh, really thin aluminum sheet metal like that. Uh, I could see some use in that for especially for welding sculptors, artists that uh, wanted to cut metal that couldn't be cut with a cutting torch. You know aluminum, copper, bronze, brass, uh, stainless steel, things like that, it will it will uh, blow a hole, a fairly decent hole, really quick. Now, most it's a hole, again, it's a lot better to use a plasma cutter, it's a lot better to use a drill, even on thin sheet metal like this, but I'm just talking about, you know, MacGyver type stuff, junkyard wars type stuff, uh, just down and dirty, all you got, you don't have something else, you don't have time, whatever, it's, uh, it's just something that can be done. Probably not the best way to cut things, but uh, it, it does work. Had somebody write in tell me they did a lot of TIG cutting on 20 gauge. They had a lot less a lot less amps than this, like you know, uh, around 60 amps or something like that. But I found that was a little bit slow. Didn't 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 uh, make as clean a cut as going higher uh, on really thin metal like this. Uh, this is some 20 thousandths stainless steel. Uh, you can use lower amps, and it does pretty good, especially if you have a template. Or some something to drag your uh, your torch along. This is some fifty thousandths cold rolled 